Hello, and I would like to welcome today Sheila Smith, who is a networking champion, expo queen, sales expert, and has also worked in the cleaning industry for 18 years. Welcome, Sheila. Oh, thank you very much, and thank you for inviting me today, Catherine. Oh, thank you very much for, for being our guest today. I'm really excited to have you here. Sheila is going to be um, talking us through the do's and don'ts of networking and how networking can be such a powerful tool for your cleaning business. Um, so I'm going to start, um, Sheila, by asking, why did you set up your own networking group 10 years ago? Okay, well, at that time, I was a sales manager for a facilities management company. And as you and we all know, that's a fiercely competitive market. I mean, you can buy cleaning products in the supermarket. So for me, I had to set myself apart from the competition and do things differently. So that's what drove me to start up my own networking business. I've been to lots of networking groups. I've been members of different groups um, and I'd seen how to do it well and how to do it not so well. <laughs> so, <laughs> So I was able to strike a balance and um, and and bring worthwhile networking. Um, and uh, yeah, I didn't dream it would run for ten years. So that was a surprise to me as much as anyone else. And um, for anybody um, who has experienced um, networking, there is the good, the bad, and the ugly. So I know from my personal experience that um, what would often happen is I would get invited to go to a, a networking group and um, I'd get all excited thinking that I'm going to be um, in the presence of like-minded people. Um, and uh, because of my background, although um, you know I had a cleaning business, so yes, I did want to connect with um, people um, who could introduce me to people who would benefit from, from my cleaning business, um, because I was a business coach as well, I found that I ended up just spending the entire time coaching people <laughs> on their business. Um, and, and not that I minded doing that, but then it was week after week after week after week. And I didn't feel that I was then getting anything back at all. So in the end, um, I just found the whole experience, to be honest, a bit of a waste of my time because it wasn't done well. So um, how how can you describe networking done well? Okay, I think the, the first thing to remember, and I, I have heard that a lot, someone will go to a networking meeting their first time, they don't get any business, and they say, oh, waste of time, not going there anymore. That's a big sadness to me. And when I hear that, I feel sad, because in life, you have to build a relationship. Um, you know, you don't go on a first date with somebody and marry them that night. You, know, you build a relationship. One would hope not. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> so, oh, you build a relationship. And um, I think that the swiftest way to start to build a relationship is give something. What can you mm -hmm. give? Ask yourself, what can you give? Could you order something from, um, from somebody there? Could you engage and ask for a meeting with someone there? And then you pop up on their radar. And that's when you start to build a, a, a worthwhile relationship. Okay. And so what would you say that networking isn't then? Well, it's not about, I mean, would anybody, well, I hope not anybody, would you walk into a room full of people and just shout, hey, everybody, I'm Sheila Smith. Can I come and clean your house? Mm. You just wouldn't. And what would that say about you? And what would the people think? So we don't do that, but there are people who do. And they do that by going around the room, scattering their business cards around, throwing out flyers about their business and leaving. That's not the way to do it. That is like the worst thing you can do. That's more damaging to your business. So what you're saying then is um, networking is about finding out, building up um, relationships uh, business relationships with that group of people, finding out what their wants are, what their needs are, um, letting them obviously ask questions about you and your organisation um, so that when it comes to um, making personal recommendations, they know that you are the go-to business uh, for cleaning. So although they personally might not 
need your cleaning business. Um, they know people who do or will need cleaning. Is that would that be a fair? Do you know, I'm so glad that you've raised that because that the people in the room, you don't know who they know. For that's one point, and the other point is that is a ready-made sales team for you. Mm -hmm. If you look after those people and do the right thing and refer business back to them. So do the same in return. Like, uh, I'm not an accountant, but if I were to hear on my travels of somebody looking to change their accountant and I knew a really good person in that group, mm -hmm. I'd feel confident and happy to connect those people. Yeah. So why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? And I think underlying there as well is that people really love to be helpful. Um, I know myself that when, you know, people come to me, go, oh, Catherine, do you know, like, uh, you know, like say, like a really good accountant, or do you know someone who could help me with, with this? Or do you know someone who could help me with that? Um, and, I, and I love to be able to go back and say, oh, chat, you know, I, did, um, I do know somebody and I met them and this is how I know them and this is what they said to me. So, um, you, know, you know, here are their details. And, and then, I, then I would actually get hold of that. Uh, person say hey listen I've just spoken to so-and-so they're looking for your services um, and I've referred them to you um, so that they know to expect the call and then that actually makes it a lot easier so when my friend then comes or my friend or colleague contacts and go oh yeah so you know Catherine and already you've got that mutual uh, that common denominator and something to start the the call that isn't and, sort of too yes. pitchy pitchy and step two from that means we, we'll go back and use the accountant because I, I quite like him now. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> but the accountant will then proactively look for something to refer back to you. Yeah. Because they want to return the favour. Yeah. So and, and yeah. That, so and so the, the the key then to to networking is I guess really from what you're describing is that networking is the origin of social selling, really. Yes. Yes, I mean, it, networking isn't isn't new. Um, you know, in the olden days, networking was um, it was quite staid and stuffy, and off putting. Um, it's changed now, but in the if you go back centuries, the old corn exchange, um, the old marketplace, you know, your town centre marketplace, they were areas, they were places where people went to do networking. You know, the, the farmers markets, the, um, the agricultural market where they sold, um, sold their cattle, sold their sheep. That was networking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you know where I can get a bull for my herd or whatever? That, it, that's, you know, the, the, they were networking then. <laughs> that's right. So it's, it's, it's nothing new, but um, it's definitely evolved. And given the current situ situation, networking has had to go virtual. Um, and do you see this as a, as a good thing? Uh, do you think that people have had to lift their networking game because of this? I certainly do. <laughs> um, I think it's a fantastic thing. Uh, because now we, we really have gone global. I know it's, people joke about things like that, but we really have. Um, I think business networking has advanced at least five years in the last 12 months because we've all mastered, you know, Zoom or other um, virtual networking platforms. And we have moved things on. I'm now networking with people all around the country. I'm making really strong connections. So mm -hmm. it's growing my business, but also it's growing the business of people I'm connected with because I'm able to refer people in other parts of the country. Mm -hmm. And for me to see that is just, I never thought I would see anything like that. So it's just, yeah, it's been a great thing. It really has. Um, and do you think that virtual net networking will totally replace face-to-face -face networking, Sheila? No. <laughs> it, I, I'm, I'm absolutely definite about that. No, it will not. Um, what it will do is open the gateways for a more hybrid event mm -hmm. so that a group of us can get together for our old, like the networking that we used to do. But can't we open our laptop and bring in someone or another group from another part of the country? Mm -hmm. That's how I would like to see it develop. And I would be more than happy to spearhead that change um, mm -hmm. and bring that 
bring that to the fore because I think it would be a fantastic thing for all of us. Fantastic. And, and if you could give um, three key strategies for cleaning business owners on, um, you know, how, on, on how they can leverage networking for, for their cleaning business, uh, what would be your three key strategies or top tips for them? Get your presentation or your showcase, how you showcase your business, get that tipped up because that really is your shop window. Mm -hmm. And that's because if you're meeting people for the first time, that is what you're judged on, whether you like it or not. So be absolutely crystal clear in what you're asking for and what you can give. Give. That's the other thing. Give to receive. Mm -hmm. Be prepared to give some business in the room to be seen as a person who gives and doesn't just sit there with their hand out waiting for new business opportunities. Um, and then the, the best thing I think, and I know we've touched on it before, but it can be said again, is look after that dedicated sales team that you've got in front of you and look what you can give to them so that they will work for you. And then we all win. Brilliant. Um, so um, in terms of, uh, of how to find a really good networking group because I think networking is only really as good as the person who's hosting it um, what three things would you say to cleaning business owners um, to look out for to show them that they're getting involved with a with a really good networking group ask for referrals okay um, ask if anyone know do you know anyone who's been to this group so ask Ask around, do your research, as you would if you were buying a new product. Do your research, explore them online to see if there's been any negative comments or positive comments. Mm -hmm. So see what people are saying about it online and see how they can work for you. What do they offer? I mean, most networking groups, um, there'll be open networking on arrival. There'll be a 60 second round where you will get to say, who you are, what your business is, what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, the really, the really good bit of any networking group. I mean, they're all good things. Uh, but look for a solid breakout time, and that's the time to take your your diary and go and get those appointments booked in. And mm -hmm. um, that's uh, that is a really, really that, that's that's. Oh, what can I say? That that's where the it it all comes together. Everything you've been working for comes together when you start to get those appointments in your diary. Fantastic. Sheila, I want to thank you so much for your time and advice and information. It's been so useful. Um, you know, it, I think that when, from what you've said, when networking is done well and when your intentions from that networking um, is mutually beneficial, so you're not just yeah. there in the hope that you're going to secure business um, in that, um, you know, meet the first five minutes or that immediate meeting, um, but that it's more about long-term relationship building so that you can build a team of ambassadors, for, uh, brand yes. ambassadors for yes. your organization. And in turn, you can be a brand ambassador for the people in your network, that networking is such a powerful um, uh, tool because people buy from people um, and you know more and more people uh, more and more customers um, you know they want to be more in control of their decision of their buying decision and so what they do is they take recommendations from other people so it's less about what you say about your organization or your cleaning company but what other people are saying mm -hmm. Yeah, you're absolutely spot on. I mean, you've you just about covered it. And I would say, uh, my, my last little nugget is just, just think of others. And that will come back to you tenfold. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Sheila. I really appreciate your time today. So very welcome. Thank you.